guys I'm so sorry I got sick and now I have to be out for a few days um, my return to school date is next Tuesday so at least I won't be out for too super long um, but yeah I ended up getting sick so I'm so sorry I'm out guys um, so today we're just reviewing for the test so I hope you brought headphones so you can listen to my help um, today's review is on paper so you should have a paper copy. Hopefully the sub gave that to you. I'm gonna go over some problems just to remind you how to do it. Um, when you finish, I want you to grade your work. So if you click here, you'll be able to check your answers. I've got an answer key so you can check all your work. And then I want you to submit to me how many you missed out of 46 so you're gonna submit your um, score to me so let's look at your assignment and go over a few things just so I can remind you so remember when you name a line you name it with two letters so what is another name for line L you just pick two letters on that line and name that line um, you're going to be looking at lines L and M, their intersection. So here's line L, here's line M. Look at where they intersect and tell me that. Um, collinear means on the same line. Coplanar means on the same plane. Um, when you name a plane, name it with three non-collinear points. So make sure you name it with non-collinear points. Um, okay, let's go down to number nine. Number nine on your assignment. I have this pulled up here. I don't know if you can see it, but I would highly suggest you draw a picture. So it says that J is between points H and K. So notice I put J just in between points H and K. And then I labeled what it says. So it says that HJ is 2x plus 4 and JK is 3x plus 3. The entire length is 22. So you want to add those two pieces together. Remember segment addition. So 2x plus 4 plus 3x plus 3 would equal 22. You've got some like terms. Your 2x and 3x would make 5x. Your 4 and 3 would make 7, so 5x plus 7 equals 22, and then you're going to solve it from there. So I hope that helps. Um, the next one is the same thing, except it specifically says that T is the midpoint. So if it's the midpoint, that's going to make ST and TU equal to each other. So make sure you put them equal to each other and solve. So notice I have 9x equals 4x plus 25. Hopefully you can solve it from there. Okay. Um, moving along. So let's see. Um, length. So if I want the length of mn, you could just count the length, remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Midpoint is the point right in the middle. You can add the negative 3 and the 2 together and then divide by 2. Um, you've got a distance formula problem and a midpoint formula problem, and I've got those formulas there for you. Number 14 is just the midpoint formula. Midpoint formula for number 14. Go to number 15. So that's the one where it gives you a midpoint and an endpoint. So do you remember that you double the midpoint? So your midpoint is P double P. So if you double P, 6 comma 3, when you double that, it's 12 comma 6. And then subtract the endpoint. So help each other out if you've forgotten. Um, I do want to remind you guys about vertical angles and linear pair. So I tried to draw it out. So remember, vertical angles make that perfect X, and they're directly across from each other, where a linear pair makes a straight line. Linear pair is adjacent. Adjacent angles are next to each other. Um, let's look at this picture. So let's see, an example of vertical angles could be like COD. Do you guys see angle COD there? And then angle... 
B-O-A, or I can't even read it, E-O-A. So those two across from each other would be vertical. Linear pair has to make a straight line, has to make a straight angle. So like for example, let me pull this up here. For example, you could have like A-O-E and E-O-D as long as they make that straight line. If we're looking the other way, let's see. Let's look at this line right here. You could do like E-O-B, B-O-C. Do you see how it makes that straight angle? Okay, so those are some examples of vertical angles and linear pair. Um, adjacent means next to each other. So like angles one and five, they are next to each other. They are adjacent. They would also happen to be a linear pair. Um, are angles two and three a linear pair? Well, do they make a straight line? They do not, so that would be no. Are angles one and three vertical? They do not make a perfect X, so they would not be vertical. So vertical would be like angles two and five. Um, for 24, 25, and 26, um, you're going to have to decide whether those angles equal each other or add to 180. If they make a straight line, they add to 180. If uh, they're vertical angles, they equal each other. So if you're looking at 6 and 7, 6 and 7 make a straight line, so they have to add to 180. If you're looking at 7 and 9, those are vertical angles, so they equal each other. If you look at 9 and 8, those are a linear pair. They make a straight line, so they add to 180. Um, reminder on complementary. Complementary angles add to 90. Supplementary angles add to 180. If you look at number 29 there, let me pull it up here. I have it written out. So 29. They're complementary, so they add to 90. So you're going to take the angles that they give you, the 5x plus 2 and the 2x minus 3, and you want to add them together to equal 90. So combine like terms. 5x and the 2x make 7x. Positive 2 and negative 3 would be minus 1 equals 90, and then you have to solve it from there. Um, number 30, I drew a picture. Can you guys see it okay? So if it's supplementary, it's 180. Draw a linear pair. Call one of the angles x, doesn't matter which one. The other angle is 30 more than that, so that's why I called the other angle x plus 30. So together, that's 2x plus 30 equals 180. For the next two, I tried to draw it in there. Vertical angles equal each other. So see how I have them, ah, see how I have them equal. And then on number 32, those make a straight line. So they're a linear pair. So they add to be 180. So I put a little plus sign, <laughs> add them together to equal 180. Then on the last one, that perpendicular, that upside down T means those are 90 degree angles. So if you look at number 33, angle CBF would be a 90 degree angle. So 6X plus 18 would equal 90. And then on number 34, those are vertical angles. So they equal each other. So put them equal to each other. So feel free to pause, re-listen. I hope that helped guide you through that. Your test is on Thursday. So make sure you understand how to do all these problems. I know that's a lot of information. So um, tomorrow we'll do a Canvas review and then you take your test on Thursday. I miss you guys and I hope you have a great day.